So everybody, we're going to do a little exercise for you on colour and on colour mixing. And as we're doing this course at the moment up in the beautiful Lake District in Cumbria, where we're capturing lots of landscapes and there's lots and lots of green, this little colour exercise now is on different ways of making green without using green because sometimes it's too easy just to get hold of sap green or viridian green or windsor green or whatever it is. Sometimes it's great to be able to mix the greens themselves using variations of blue and variations of yellow. And I'm gonna do a little exercise now where I'm gonna show you about eight different ways of making green without using green. And the wonderful thing about this is by using the blues and the yellow mixers, you can then put the blues and the yellows alongside the mix and then you've got such a greater range of colors as opposed to just grabbing one green out of the palace. So the first one that's gonna come out for you now is Prussian blue. Okay, so there's the Prussian blue. I'm gonna pop that on, which is a wonderful dark transparent blue. And then I'm gonna add some Indian yellow to it. Okay, so there is Prussian blue and Indian yellow. Now the next one is Prussian blue again, okay, like that. But this time I'm gonna put some gambage on, which is a transparent yellow. Now look at the difference between the two. You've got these two wonderful mixers. Let me just write that one down. So that's Prussian and Indian yellow, I'm gonna call it Ind yellow, so I'm not spending all the time writing things down. And this is Prussian and Gamboge. Okay, right, so that's the first two mixes. And look at the difference between them, that's quite cool, that's quite warm, absolutely gorgeous. Right, next one coming down is Windsor blue. So there's the Windsor blue there. Okay, and this is getting mixed with Indian yellow. Look at the difference in that, because it's a different blue. See, it's much more kind of browny. Okay, let's try the next one then. This is Windsor blue again. And this time we're gonna mix it with Gambage, which is a transparent one. And look at the difference in that. So again, quite cool. That one's quite cool, that's quite warm. It's kind of verging towards brown, that one. So let's write this down. This is a Windsor. Just gonna put Windsor plus Ind yellow. Okay, and that's Windsor plus Gamboge. Okay, so look at that. We've got four yummy, yummy greens already and we haven't used green, right, okay. Next one, we have got ultramarine blue mixed with Indian yellow. Look at the difference in that one, completely different. Okay, it's a very kind of earthy green, that one. Gorgeous, wonderful for foliage. Okay, next one is ultramarine blue again, mixed with gambodge. So look at that, completely different. I feel like I should be working for B&Q here, creating all these color charts for decorating. Let's do this, let's write this one down. So ultra marine plus Indian yellow. And this is just a great exercise for you to do yourselves. Ultra marine plus gamboge, okay. Right, two more to go. Do them over here. So first one coming out, my, one of my favorite blues, which is cerulean blue. Look at that, beautiful. Seems a shame to spoil it. Mixing with Indian yellow. Look at the difference in that. I'm gonna put a bit more blue in. Try and get, I'm trying to get a kind of equal mix between the two, see? Half and half, okay? It's so different, that one. Okay, same again, cerulean blue. And this time, mix it with gamboge. Look at that, really kind of bright and singy, that one, just wonderful. So let's write this one down. Cerulean plus Indian yellow and 
cerulean plus gambage. Okay, so there we have eight different greens. Trying to use a kind of equal mix, half blue, half yellow, using four different blues, Prussian Windsor, Ultramarine and Cerulean, two different yellows, Indian yellow and Gambodge. Now look at that range of greens there, just absolutely wonderful, very kind of earthy. But the wonderful thing is, let me just show you on this one as an example. If you put the Cerulean blue alongside, okay, which is the pure blue, which this one comes from, see how it's so compatible. And then you put the Gambodge alongside as well. See how they just link together so beautifully. And that's a great way of harmonizing your pictures. So this is a really good exercise to have a go at doing if you're gonna do something like landscapes where there are lots and lots and lots of greens in the scene, but you don't necessarily want to use green, you want to make green.